Waylander, epilogue. With Kame dead and the major Vagrian army surrendered, the war was over on the last day of autumn when Eagle and Karnak led the Drenai army to link with the Lentrian general Ironlatch on the outskirts of Drenan. The following year, Karnak led the invasion of Vagria, which saw the emperor toppled. The Drenai ruling houses refused all talk of monarchy and a republic was instituted, with Eagle nominated to lead a government. The general refused but took the title of the Earl of Bronze and returned to Delnock, where he organised the construction of a mighty six-walled fortress across the pass. His advisor was a priest named Dardalian, who had been found seriously wounded in the library room at Perdon. Eagle was much criticised for the expense of constructing Dos Delnock, but maintained his faith in Dardalian's vision. Five years after the success of Perdon, Eagle was assassinated in his room at the fortress. In the civil war that followed, Karnak rose to rule the Drenai. Jonat survived the siege of Perdon and became a general in the Legion. He died six years after the battle, leading a rebel force against Karnak in the civil war. Danielle, with the gold eagle gave her for returning the armour, bought a house in Skata, where she lived with Krilla and Muriel. But she was often seen riding in the Delnock Pass and scanning the northern horizon. Six months after the Vagrian defeat, she and the children vanished from home. Two neighbours discussed the disappearance with the Southgate sentry. I watched her leave, he said. She was riding with a companion, a man. Did you recognise him? No, he was a stranger, a Waylander.